Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. We're going to take a look at blood sugars. Blood sugars are currently 7.5. This is a pretty good blood sugar. Had breakfast earlier, and now we're raring to go. Time and range, 87%. Zero above in range, this number here. Below 3.9 is 13%. We have a bit of an issue here. Average blood sugar. That's getting to be a little low. That's below my area of concern are my goals. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm sure this week I'll have a conversation with my diabetic nurse. It's Sunday morning here, so I can't really contact her. So stay tuned. We're going to come back. Excuse me. And when we come back, we will be discussing our next step in getting ready for March 17th. And for those of you who don't know, March 17th is our day to get into control. And there is prep work that you need to do in order to ensure that you're ready to go. So... I want you to sit back, relax, and we'll be right back. Okay, in the first Control Day video, I talked about going and seeing your doctor and why it's important. You want to make sure that your body is ready and you want to have some obtainable, obtainable goals. Keeping your blood sugars perfect isn't going to happen. But what your doctor wants you to achieve, it may be those perfect numbers, but sometimes it isn't. If I always had blood sugars of this, my doctor would be quite worried because I have a history of dropping extremely quick. So we've done that. Or hopefully done that. Next, you want a recording system. I don't care if you go to the drugstore, get a paper book, and you record all the information down. Great. It's probably the easiest to start off with. 
if you don't have a hell of a lot of money, most drugstores will have, at least the chains will have some sort of book that you can record blood sugars in. And you need to look, if you're going to go more than just your regular book type and writing it down every day, you could, it could come with your pump if you use the sensors, if you use the Dexcom, if you use the Medtronic Guardian. They will come with little sensors that you can put in and record your blood sugars. There can be ones where you type in your blood sugar every day. You just type it into the computer, boop, and it's recorded there. Now, along with your record keeping, Something you have to promise yourself. Not your doctor. Sorry, my shoulder again. Not your doctor. Not your parents. Not your husband or wife. But you have to promise you. That you're going to deal with the information as it comes out. That you are not going to cause any problems with the information. You're not going to force the information. Because if you're saying, oh yes, everything's working fine here, and it's not, people seem to think that their doctors are going to be bad at them. Is number one. Number two, what's going to happen is you're not going to achieve your goals. And trust me, when you have normal blood sugars, you feel that much better. And going through the days of trying to monitor your blood sugars, you're going to feel healthier. Number one. Number two, you're not going to be as tired. I know when I have high blood sugars, all I want to do is sleep. I could sleep nine hours a night, get up for a couple hours, and go back and have another sleep. The minute I bring my blood sugars down, I start getting more restful sleeps. You can do this too. But you have to have a goal. You have to utilize the records that you are going to start to achieve. You have to insert your diabetes into your life. So often with work and everything else, diabetes seems to become the second condition. A lot of places have recognized that if a diabetic take care of themselves and just take that extra time, five minutes at most, to get out your glucometer, do a test, have lunch at a certain time, makes a happier employee, makes you more alert, and you could grow with your company in a positive manner. It's like night and day. If you've been diabetic for a number of years, you know that when you concentrate, 
you will feel better. But when you just leave things and, oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as a constant reminder, we need to keep records. A lot of these things on phones are are easily done. Now, this one goes with Medtronic. But your pump people have a recording system that works. It's just something you can look. It's full of colors. You can see some of them have even seen done kind of like their version of time and range it's not going to be as accurate as when you have a meter every five minutes but so you're gonna you've gone to see your doctor now you've got your records your records are all ready to go they're all lined up you're ready to start recording. What sort of things are you looking for to gauge how you are doing? Well, first of all, the goals. Second of all, time and range. These are pretty standard right across the board. If you're 70% or greater time and range, that's a great starting point. When I started to utilize the system, I wasn't getting 87%. Sometimes I was lucky even to get 40%. It will come. And when you start taking a look at your numbers, don't get depressed with numbers like this. It's not the end of the world. It just tells you, okay, we need to deal with certain things to make my body work better. Maybe increase insulin, maybe decrease insulin, more food, less food. Working with the plan the records will start showing patterns and it's these patterns that will tell the story that will allow your doctor to come up with a tighter game plan for you there was a lady who said she doesn't go to diabetes education because every time I go they want to try something different they can't just leave well enough alone I'm taking my insulin they should be happy well first of all they don't want to change everything if you going in to see your doctor or your educator for the first time they're going to look and come up with a plan okay they'll say I'll see you in three months, six months, a year or whatever when they come back they'll say okay well that's worked well now let's take a look at dinner or lunch or whatever They are honing in one thing at a time. This will allow your doctors to slowly tune your program for you. Don't Be depressed by any numbers, but celebrate your wins. For me, like I'm saying here, 13. I'm not depressed by that. 
just tells me, okay. So, oh, right there, right there, yeah, yeah. Oh, you need to cut back on insulin some parts of the day. Don't know when? Keeping your blood sugars within the goal set. Now, you may go to your doctor and be saying, oh, great, you're doing great. You brought it in to the goals we had set. But let's change the goals up a bit. And you're going, oh, no, I just did this. And they just want, to, they just want me to keep coming back so they could get more money. Goals can change. When you achieve your goals, your doctor might say to you, okay, let's move on now. So, we've gone to the doctor. We've got our record keeping. Next week, we'll move on to our next step. And with that, I hope you're having a super day, and we'll talk again soon. Bye If now. you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Thank you. My email is mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. Mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. Oh,